Hello and welcome to Body Holic. Today I have for you a 15 minute strength flow perfect for when you really want to get your blood flowing but you are short on time. So let's get started. We're going to begin seated nice and tall and we're going to begin rolling our shoulders back together with deep breaths. So we inhale shoulders up and around, exhale to release. And again. Beautiful. We're going to move on to our tabletop position, hands directly under the shoulders, knees under the hip joints. And let's bring our right arm up and our left leg. And then we switch left arm and right leg. So every time we lift one arm, the other arm pushes into the ground. Exhale, lift, and this time exhale and hold. We bring our left elbow into the right knee. Exhale, bring it in, inhale, extend. Exhale, in, inhale, extend. All the while, we are pushing the right arm into the floor, coming out of the shoulder blade, and we are keeping our abs super tight. And let's do this one more time. Great. Now we keep the left arm up and we tap the right foot behind our back. So we inhale, extend, and we exhale to tap. Tap and tap, keeping the foot pointed and keeping that hamstring nicely activated. And let's go for another one and one last one. Beautiful. From here, we're going to bring our left hand down, our right leg down, and press both hands strongly into the floor as you move them forward a little. Flex the feet and start shifting your weight back and straighten the knees. You can, of course, keep a little bend at the knees if you need to. Maybe take a moment here to rest your neck, and then we slowly come forward into a plank. Now we inhale, bring your weight back, bend your knees, exhale, extend. Inhale as you shift forward into the plank. And again, we go back, exhale, straighten completely. And again, we move forward into the plank, inhale. And then we exhale, bend and extend. Really get those heels as close to the floor as possible. And again, we bring it forward and we settle our knees down. So let's just take a short moment here, turning the palms up into a child's pose, really to rest our arms. And we're gonna get back into the bird dog. So this time we're once again repeating the opposite arm and leg lift. And we exhale on every lift, focusing on neutral spine. And we're gonna hold up this time the right arm and the left leg. Okay, so let's begin with the right arm up, left leg, and we exhale elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Exhale, bring it in without allowing yourself to sink into your left shoulder blade. Exhale, bring it in, and again. Wonderful, keeping your spine as neutral and as steady as possible. And then we hold it right here and we tap behind. So the hand is reaching for the toes behind our back. Exhale, tap, inhale, extend. We wanna feel the toes pointed so that we get into those hamstrings even more. Wonderful. And one more time. And gently release. Great job. So from here, let's push our hands once again into the floor, flexing the feet and shifting our weight back into that beautiful pyramid so we can stretch out the entire posterior chain of our body. Now we're gonna lift the right leg way up and point it. 
and on the next exhale, bring the knee forward and then again, extend it back up. Exhale, knee forward, inhale, bring it up. You wanna really bring the knee to crunch the abs and up. Let's go for one last good one and this time step the foot in between the hands into a nice deep lunge. So we inhale lower down, exhale extend. This whole time you're actually pushing the right foot into the floor, digging the right heel into the ground to straighten the knee. Now we're going to stay low and we're going to pulse. We have three more pulses digging the heel into the floor. Wonderful. And once again, we're going to go all the way up for that full range. We're going to go for three more of the full range, two and one. Now stay nice and low. And again, we're going to pulse four more exhaling on every lift, two and one more. Well done. Let's bring our arms around and back into the floor. So we're going to send that right leg back and you can settle your knees down, getting ready for modified tricep push-ups. So on the knees, we shift our weight forward, squeeze the arms to the side, and then you can also opt to make it a little bit harder by on your toes, going all the way down, squeezing the arms to your side. This time, bring your left leg up into the pyramid. And on the next exhale, drive the knee in towards the chest. We exhale, crunch the abs, drive it in, and bring it back up. Great, last time we bring the foot in between the hands, we get into that nice deep lunge and we're gonna go for five of the full range lunges. So we inhale, drop it low, exhale, extend, all the while we are pushing that left heel into the floor as though we're moving the floor away from our body. Wonderful, we pulse for five. Great, and we go back for the full range for five. Inhale down, exhale way up. Three, two, and once again, we're gonna pulse it, and we go nice and low for five. Exhale on the lift, four, three, two, and one more good one, bringing the hands to the floor and sending the left leg back. Let's go for those two tricep push-ups, either on the knees or on the toes. We exhale on the lift, inhale down, exhale up. Beautiful, and please move on to your forearms. We're gonna open up to a side plank on our right arm. If you need to, please bend the right leg. If not, you're gonna step one leg over the other. We inhale, bring the left hand down to the floor in front of us. Exhale, open to a fly. Inhale and exhale. When we open, we wanna really think about squeezing the shoulder blades together. Beautiful, keeping the right shoulder away from your ear, keeping the pelvis as steady as possible. And we've got one more good one. All right, now let's lower the pelvis down, lift it up and wrap the arm around the waist, bring it up. So it's pelvis goes down and then lifts. And while we lift, we wrap around. Exhale on the lift and the wrap, beautiful. And release. Well done. Let's go into a mermaid stretch. So we're just gonna lift ourselves up, keeping the legs over to the left. We inhale, bring the right arm over. Exhale into nice, deep side stretch for the right side of your body. And then we release it over to the other side. Just a quick reminder, it is absolutely fantastic to bend your left leg if you need to. And otherwise, we can stack one leg over the other, sending the right arm up, inhale, tap, exhale, lift. We wanna reach that right hand as far forward as possible so we get to work our core a little bit more. Just make sure you're keeping the pelvis super duper steady. Inhale and exhale.
wonderful. And let's lower the pelvis down. So we lower, lift and wrap. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and rotate. And again, exhale, lift and rotate. Let's do two more. Beautiful, and one more good one. Nice, we're gonna come into that beautiful mermaid stretch. So we're gonna keep the legs over to the right and we're gonna get that left arm to lengthen and then we exhale into a nice deep side bend. Beautiful, please come into a high plank. So once we're in that high plank, we're gonna bring our right foot outside of the right hand for a stretch and then the left. And now let's see if we can make it a small little tap and maybe we can even speed up a little bit. So you can keep that stretch version, that slower version, but see if you can pick up the pace just a little bit. Very gentle taps. Exhale on every tap and settle it down. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna once again come into a child's pose with the palms facing up for that extra stretch, especially around the shoulder and the lats. We're gonna come up and now let's settle ourselves down on our belly, placing our forehead on our hands and squeezing the legs together pointed. Let's exhale and lift both legs up and then bring it down. Exhale, lift and squeeze the butt and bring it down. Keeping everything else nice and relaxed, except you should feel like you're pulling your shoulders away from the ears. Wonderful. And then see if you can keep the legs up as you lift your upper body and then bring it all down. Exhale, lift it up and then we bring it all down. Once again, we're gonna keep our head nice and heavy on the hands. The hands should be supporting the head and bring it down. Of course, you can do this without the legs if you prefer. And we lift and we hold. Now let's bring the arms out. We touch the forearms to the ground and exhale, lift. Touch and lift. You can bring the feet down to the floor if that feels good for you. We inhale, lower, exhale, lift, really focusing on the squeeze of the shoulder blades back. Great job. Just a little more. And then we push ourselves up. Try to do this in a push-up position, right from the floor and up. Go right into that pyramid and then we're gonna really extend that right leg up to the sky let's open the pelvis and drop the heel to the butt send down and switch send the left leg way way up open the pelvis drop the heel wonderful and then release into a nice tall seated position so from a butterfly position, we're gonna send our left leg out and bring the right arm over, nice deep side bend and release it over to the other side. Inhale, bring the left arm up, get into that deep, beautiful side bend and then release. We're gonna take two deep breaths. Inhale, reach your arms up and release, bringing the chin down to release the back of your neck. And then again, inhale, bring it up to end today's session and exhale to release. Absolutely well done. 